Alright, so this video is a follow-up to my previous uh, airflow video. We've put together a new system here. Uh, this is a Sandy Bridge build using a 2600K running at 4.8 gigahertz and a new 560 uh, running at 1 gigahertz. Uh, all MSI as far as motherboard and graphics card. Uh, the motherboard is the GD65 uh, board from MSI. And as you'll notice, we got a blue flashing light uh, be because I fried one of the BIOS chips somehow. Um, changes to the configuration this time around is starting down here. I uh, found out with the last test that this bracket, the way I had it set up, was actually deflecting a lot of air this way. Instead of getting it to the actual graphics card, uh, moving it in actually dropped the temperatures on the graphics card by about a degree or two when running Furmark. Uh, a couple more changes. With this build, we've got an H50 on here. It is pulling air in to the case, so it'll go in and then out through the top. Also, the 140 millimeter fan that was in the back, I've now got temporarily attached with zip ties uh, to see how it's going to work as far as getting a little extra air in here. Uh, I did notice temperatures on the hard drive dropping about a degree or so as well by using this. Uh, so that's the basic layout. Uh, another thing that has changed is we now have two 200 millimeter fans on the top, not just one. So that's going to help us get the extra air that's coming in from that hot radiator out as quickly as possible. Uh, what I'm expecting to see with the dry ice test is going to be probably most of it staying down here because uh, I do have the shroud on the back of the fan now so it kind of fills in this whole area right here blowing directly into the graphics card between that and this fan here. I imagine a lot of that dry ice is actually going to stay here with maybe a little bit of venting up into this uh, chamber or area. But uh, we'll see what happens. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, next part of this video will just be uh, the visuals and we'll see what happens. Alright, enjoy. Alright, so now that everything's done, uh, I do want to show a couple of things that I noticed that I couldn't really capture on camera very well. Uh, first off, when everything was running, I could see some 
a little bit of wisps coming out of the front here through where the hot swap bays are at and again a little bit coming out through the top here uh, very light little wisps you can actually feel the cool air coming out as well uh, from the dry ice going through the system but it just didn't capture on camera very well so no point in me showing you that uh, another thing I did notice is around the back side uh, I'll turn the light on here real quick so on the back side as you can kind of see with all the ventilation down here in the back there was actually air coming out through here which would be pretty expected uh, again couldn't really get it to capture on camera very well it just looked like well crap so not bothered to show it and as a last little thing for anybody who's interested if I can get this to come in here uh, you can kind of pause it here if you want to take a look but these are the system stats for anybody who's interested uh, as you see 4.8 on the CPU and a little over a gigahertz on the actual GPU. So that's pretty much it. Uh, feel free to comment, ask questions, anything like that down below. And uh, yes, I'm very excited for Duke Nukem if you can't tell. Uh, so that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, so you guys all have fun out there in YouTube land. And we'll see you later.